create a reference qualifier on the group table on manager so that only ideal user and the user who is not manager of any group can be selected as a manager so what they are trying to say that so what is the requirement let's understand first so first what they are saying that we have a sys underscore i mean sys user group here right so if i go back here and then i have a um so this is the one group these are all of the group basically test group i have okay so we have a field called manager and in if i click and show there will be uh, there could be a reference qualifier let's see what is the reference qualifier first at that moment there is no reference qualifier so what they are saying that at that moment i can select any of this user so let's say whatever the user is present to this my system all the 696 user i i can see so what they are saying that i should be select all the user who is not part of i mean who have the itl role first criteria is the user who have ITIL role and secondly the user who is not manager of any group so if I go here sys underscore user underscore has role table and then if I search with that uh, let's say the role equal to ITIL then I should get that couple of user at that moment I am getting the 66 user so all those 66 user I should find out and then among with this 66 user if I go back to again the sys underscore user underscore group and open any of this let's say this is the group table and if I filter out all the empty so we have so we have this many 11 members so so within this 60 so total we have 66 user within the 66 I cannot if the user is I mean if this is the one of the six if this is the user one of this user I should not be able to select that so this is what their requirement is so the user who have uh, this one and then let's say that user should not be this like this user okay so 66 minus whatever the user see this user more of here this user have ITL role so I I should not go to this test group here and I should not be able to select um, this user so if, at the moment if i search this user this user is selectable but uh, my the condition will be um, the 66 i can select 66 user who are not part of the only 66 user at the moment the only 66 user have the itl node so i should be able to select all the 66 user along with that who are not part of this member so in case this wow rogir should not be available here okay so this is the complex requirement so this is cannot be done like normally configure if i uh, right click and go to the configure dictionary here you can see the reference qualifier and then in this reference qualifier i cannot select anything like this condition whatever it is that it's a complex requirement and th that cannot be fit uh, here so any complex requirement cannot be fit um, into the simple require i mean simple reference qualifier okay we can we have to be shipped to the advanced reference qualifier today advanced reference qualifier you have to click the advanced view once you click the advanced view so now you can see this is the advanced view under this advanced view you have an option called reference qualifier simple you can change to this dynamic or maybe advanced where you can start writing the code so our case it's a advanced so we are going to start writing our code to write this code what we have to do we have to declare a script include so i am going to uh, open this uh, script include here under the script include i am going to create a new script include let's say that group manager and here uh, once i click that this automatically populate that all this let's say that uh, find itl manager something like that so this script include i am going to call from this advanced qualifier so i am going to call this script include so I will call this script include. So I'll simply save that. So once the script include is created, I can call the script include from this reference qualifier. To call the script include, what we have to do, we have to type the JavaScript colon, and then we have to call the script include name. Call this is the script include name, and here we can call this basically uh, the function name. Okay, so we can pass this. Now in the bracket, you can pass the current object 
to get any group name or anything so i will just uh, click the update so it means that reference qualifier i have selected that um, so now um, i am in the group if i right click and then click show you can see that i am right now pointing to this uh, what you can see we are calling this script include so right now i am pointing to this script include passing the current object and then whatever script include reference qualifier will be written that we can show so I'll, if i click at that moment here there is nothing no code written at that moment and that's the reason it's returning me the 696 object okay now let's start writing the code here so first thing first we have to find out this query so that it can return only 66 uh, um, user who have the ITL role for that what we have to do we have to query to the CC user has role table to query that I can we know that GR uh, we, we can use the glide record so we are going to use this uh, same method here and then um, here we can put this encoded query or anything so I'm going to put that add encoded query copy and then from here we can just copy this encoded query and we can just paste that all right so we are going to query to this uh, a table called gr has role where the role name is itl so give me these all uh, user name i'm asking that give me those all user name so i will say that gr role dot next and then i should get all these user name right to get the user what we have to do we can just show match here copy query and then if i go back here you can see so we have a field called user so user will return me that c id so here if i put the gr user dot user dot sys id it will return me the sys id of the user so gr gr role is nothing but at that moment it is pointing to this user this table and if we open that i should get this user sys id so this is the user and role mapping table so i should get the user detail so i will put the user dot sys id because this is a reference field i'll get the user sys id now what do you have to do i have to declare a array let's say users and then this is my array and in this array i will store all these users sys id okay so let's understand one more time so i have declared an array under this array i am going to query to the cc user has role table where role name is itl and then by this one i am getting the all this sys id and i am pushing all this sys id one by one to this array after that what i am returning i am going to return what i am returning sys underscore id in and then I am putting that call sys user dot to string. Okay. So let's understand that. So once I save that, and if I call this script for script include from this background script, what will be returned? It will give me these all 66. Um, uh, I mean all this user here. You can see all these user sys id one by one so this will return me all these users sys id one by one so let's try first so if i go back and then go to the background script and then let's say i am opening this background script and then here i am writing the code called gs.info now here we can put the gs.info and then we can simply call this script include and see this is working perfectly fine or not so to do that i'll say the new space here and then after that we can simply call this function and this, if we call this function this will return me all this is id so let's try and then simply click and you can see it's give me all this is id so this is id these all user i should give me now if we previously i was getting 696 now if we click that it will give me these only these you can see 53 user who have actually active and then they have itl role so this 53 user i am getting right now now additionally 53 what uh, are our requirement is that this 53 should not be part of this group so if they are part of this uh, this group they should i mean at that moment if we search here let's say i am going to search here let's say 
this is giving me 53 user and in this 53 if we search this user and this user I am getting but I should not get this user because this user is already part of a manager. To do that what we can do we can write additional code called say VR GR um, member or something like that and then I am going to query again here in this table. Let's say that I am going to query to this table. Okay. And after that, what we can do, we can say that here manager. So I will say that dot add encoded query. And then we can say manager equal to. And then I can, uh, you know, put this one. Okay. So I am checking that this is the manager or not. So if I do like this query and if grm.next and then I'll write down let's first and then I'll update you. I'll do a formatting code again. So let's understand one more time. So I am going to query after getting this gr role user ID, I get the user ID. After that, I will go to the sys user group table and query with the manager equal to whatever user I get and check that is there a he is manager. If manager, I am not going to push that. If he is not manager, then I am going to push that. So we can just put this like this one and then remove this block. Okay. So it, it means that if he is not, if I cannot find any user who is the manager, then I should push that. Previously, it was giving me the 53. Now let's try to, after saving the let's try to see that. So if we put here, I can see 45. So 53 minus this all excluded and at that moment I can see only 45 user I am getting. And if I search here to any of this user and I should not get those user. This is the way you can do any complex, you can see I am not getting that. So this is the way you can build any complex reference query fact. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.